So guys, it's Cool Story Bro. In today's video, I'm going to show you how you can actually use your Apple Super Drive on a Windows 10 computer. Now, this is my Windows 10 computer, nothing to do with Apple. This is my official Windows 10 computer, the computer that I actually built. If you remember, if you've watched that video, you can watch it. It's pretty awesome. That is the computer I'm using in this video today. Now, as you know, I love Apple products. And of course, you should already know this. I have an Apple Super Drive. And I was thinking, okay, I'm actually going to hook it up to my Windows 10 computer. Of course, nothing happens. Now, the reason why is because you have to download the drivers to actually make the Apple Super Drive work. And this is the way to do it. What you want to do, first of all, is go to your browser and then you want to go on to this link, which I'm actually going to put in the description so you can actually see this, guys, because I'm actually using this on my iPhone. I don't know really how to record on a, on a screen, so I'm actually using my iPhone to record this. So paste, and then you just want to press enter like so. Now, this is the official Apple website, and this gives you the whole of the bootcamp drivers. Now, there's so many to choose from. Of course, you want to go to the first one, which is this one. Now, it should say download bootcamp support software download. Now, in this video, I'm not actually going to download it because I've actually downloaded it for the demo and I'm actually going to minimize it, but you need to download it. Once it's downloaded, you need an application called WinRAR. So basically you can open it up. It says you can buy it, but I've been using it for many years, guys, and I haven't actually bought it and I'm still using it as you can see right now and it's free for me. So you don't need to buy it. You know, just don't buy it if you don't need to. And then what you want to do if, when it opens up on the on the uh, WinRAR application or any other application, what you use to um, extract folders, you want to go to the bootcamp drivers and then you want to go to the apple now it's got all these drivers the one that you're actually looking for is this one it's called the apple odd installer you want to click on it and it will extract it to your computer and then you'll get this which is saying do you want to install it on your hard drive on this computer you want to press yes Zoom out for you guys so you can actually see the installment. Let's bring the installment down here so you can actually see it really good. There we go. And then you want to press next. And then it says all this. And you just want to press accept the agreement. Don't want to press any of these. And you just want to press next. And it says this is ready to be used. Done. Finished. Boom. And that is it. That is how you get your Apple Super Drive working on your Windows 10 computer. How awesome is that? And what I'm going to do right now, I'm actually going to install this game, which is Sega Rally. It was for the Xbox 360, PlayStation 3, and of course the PSP. And I bought it the other day. This was brand new, by the way, guys. And I got it for like $1.99, a video game that I really enjoy. So I'm actually going to install this. Now, some PC video games do have issues when playing with their CD. I don't know if it's because of Windows 10, I know this has issues with Windows 10, but this is how to resolve it. So first of all, you normally would press that and you go to the launch and everything, but I do this. I go to, this is the PC, which is my PC. Go to my local drive like so, and then go to the 86 program file and then find the game company called Sega because it's Sega Rally, so it's pr pronounced with Sega and then Sega Rally. And then there is all your launch things. So I'm just actually gonna press the launch. Hopefully all the graphics should appear like so. So this is how you set up with your graphics, the control setups and stuff like that. So I'm actually going to kind of have it the roughly the same. I think this screen is, there we go. 2560 by 1600. And then we want the refresh rate is 60 FPS. You can't change that change that as well if you wanted to this is pretty cool because you don't have to you know if you want to customize it you can customize it like so i'm just kind of going to leave it as high and the anti 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 analyzing if i pronounce that right and i'm just going to press that now normally you press launch but what you want to do is just press this and then you want to go to this one right here I don't know why it was actually launched like this, but that's how it is. 